long ago, in the kingdom of the hound, Helen of Youngskyshire was summoned by her queen. Little did she know that in her humble paws rested the fate of the realm. A foul stench of panic wafted through the royal chambers. Her majesty was far from composed. As all royal subjects knew, she had no right to rule without the sacred bone of destiny. In characteristically few words, Queen Rose explained how the bone of destiny had been daringly stolen. From past deeds, Her Majesty knew only Helen could return the sacred bone to its rightful place. Helen accepted this quest with a knowing, noble nod and embarked on her perilous journey. Helen scoured the land, digging up clues and sniffing out leads. Helen's sophisticated tracking methods brought her to the gate of the Iron Collar, famously guarded by the Spanish arch wizard Jose de la Plancha. Speaking very loudly and slowly to the foreigner, but with great respect, Helen explained that she must pass. Undoubtedly, Jose would present her with one of his notorious puzzles. For to pass, one must successfully bite the bubbles. Produced by Jose's crafty wand. Helen's impatience proved stronger than Jose's futile test. Ah, the bitter taste of humiliation again, eh, Jose de la Plancha? Helen continued on her journey. of the north, and there it lies, the sacred bone of destiny. Clearly the theft was never a challenge to Queen Rose, but a challenge to Helen herself. With a steely glint in her eye, Leela set the terms of the battle. A tug of war that would prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that she were truly the superior of the two. And the kingdom is saved as Helen takes the sacred bone of destiny in her mouth. And as Queen Rose listened to Helen's explanations, she grew furious. She could smell the sacred bone on her breath. Helen learned that punishment was indeed cruel. Long ago, in the kingdom of the hound, 